for today's video, we're going to look at a part of West Baltimore that's steeped in lore and urban legend, and this part of Baltimore is Lincoln Park. It's located on the west side of the city. It's one of the largest urban parks in America and biggest in Baltimore. It's almost three square miles, and it's, uh, like I said, on the west side of the city. Now, so what makes this park so unique and why is there so much urban legend and so, you know, so much, uh, it's just generally considered a creepy place. Well, it's, there's been over 80 bodies found in the park over the, in the last few decades. Um, some suicide victims, some murder victims, and it just has gotten a reputation as being a generally creepy place to go and a creepy place to visit. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. As you can see, there's lots of roads and trails. There's abandoned roads. Uh, Weathersville Road is partially abandoned. And uh, like I said, generally creepy place. So I'm going to go, even, even the uh, Wikipedia page for the park has a section about the stigma associated with the park and the murders. Uh, this reports... 75 bodies being found, uh, including the uh, subject of the, um, what was that podcast with the Heyman Lee and uh, Anad Syed, the, uh, whatever that podcast was, uh, the victim of, in that crime was found on the edge of Leakin Park. So there's even uh, blogs and maps and people who track this sort of thing Here's one of those where it shows, as you can see, it's a pretty pretty shocking amount of bodies found back in the woods in Leakin Park. There's uh, the appropriately named Dead Run Branch, which is a creek that runs through the park. And like I said, there's Weathersville Road up here. I'll show a, uh, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show a quick clip of me walking down it just so you can get a feel for what it looks like and, and what it's... Uh, what the vibe is when you're back in the middle of Leakin Park. Now, to me, it's actually a pretty nice place. It's a, it, it's a way to get away from things, but still be in the city. So it's, and the truth is, it's really not, if you compare Leakin Park to say the Western District of Baltimore in terms of bodies found, it's uh, not even close. There's way more bodies found on the streets of Baltimore than there are in Lincoln Park, but I guess there's something more sinister when it comes to dragging a body back into the woods and dumping it than just committing a crime and leaving the victim on the street. Um, I'll show you the Baltimore homicide map just to kind of prove that point, but it, it certainly, if you look even for one year, just take 2022, for example, and you zoom in on the Western District, as you can see, here's Leakin Park over here. There's a body or two found, and then you look at some more busy parts of the Western District, and there's multiple bodies, and this is just for one year. So really the myth of the park, I always say myth because it's not a myth that there's been 75 bodies found there, but to find only 75 bodies in that large of a section of Baltimore over the course of 50 plus years is actually, I mean, it's actually relatively few as bad as it sounds. So like I said, I'm gonna have a little bit of footage later on in the video of the area itself and what it looks like on the ground and then also driving through it. So stick around for that. And uh, that's all I got for now.